A fake threat sent dozens of police units racing to a high school in Jefferson. That's south of Salem. And it's not the only incident of this kind across Oregon this week. Are Jenny Young going beyond the headlines to figure out what's behind these big disruptions at schools, Jenny? Jeff, Liz, this is something something that's happening this week up and down the West Coast, both, to, both in California and Washington. And here in Oregon, there have been at least four phony threats to schools within the last 24 hours. Students evacuated after law enforcement officers from multiple agencies swarmed Jefferson High School in Marion County this morning. The Marion County Sheriff's Office tells us shortly before 930, they received a report that someone with a gun was opening fire inside the high school. We're told upon arriving, officers immediately entered the building and later determined there was no shooter. The Sheriff's Office tells us they don't know who called in that phony report, but the FBI is helping investigate. The school district says back in March, a similar threat also prompted an evacuation. A gamble if it's going to happen every day or not. I'm a parent of school age kids myself. I know the stress that this talk causes kids in the school system. I hear about the stress that it causes teachers and staff, and I know that it diverts very valuable, limited resources of law enforcement when we have to go run and make sure that there isn't a legitimate threat. Video of Lake Oswego police yesterday outside Oak Creek Elementary. The school was evacuated after someone reported a bomb threat. I checked in with police today asking if they know who made that threat. I'm told they're still investigating. Special agent in charge Kieran Ramsey says investigating false threats is a fairly intensive process for local and federal law enforcement, especially when dealing with technology that conceals identity. Certainly we bring certain resources, certain tools uh, to the situation. They may also have specific tools that they can use. Doesn't matter uh, as long as we are able to identify who's responsible for these and make sure first and foremost that anytime we get these threats that we are investigating them quickly to ensure the safety of our kids. So the Marion County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who knows anything about the threat this morning who might have called it in to call their tip line. You can also call the FBI's tip line. That number is on coin.com if you ever hear about anyone doing this. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. All right, Jenny, thank you. New